Nor uh, vertebrates have normal vertebrates have uh, things in common like the uh, vertebral body and anteriorly and posteriorly there is the uh, vertebral arch. We have a single spinous process. We have the pedicles that join the body with the uh, with the Transverse. vertebral arch. Those are the pedicles. The laminas over here, and we have the superior articular articular facets and the inferior articular facets, and uh, the transverse uh, transverse process on the sides. Okay, so uh, I'm, we're gonna start by the first two uh, two cervical vertebrae. Where are they? So okay, so this is how they. This is how they're yeah. This is how they articulate. This is the first cervical vertebrae. It's the atlas, and this is the axial. It's the C2. And the features of the uh, atlas is that it has no uh, no body, no vertebral body, and um, and the the today it has anterior tubercle and posterior tubercle, and the facets, the superior fac articular facets, are facing upwards. Uh, this is a feature of the cervical uh, vertebrae. Uh, so it can bear the weight of the skull and the transverse process are on the sides or the cervical okay and uh, for C2 for C2 yeah the, yeah the cer wait, I'm, I'm gonna get to that uh, for the C2 there's the dance uh, there's the dance instead of the vertebral body for the C2. There's the dance, and inferiorly there's the inferior body. So it just replaces the uh, superior vertebral body. Okay, and uh, a feature of uh, uh, the thoracic, of uh, the feature of a, a cervical vertebrae is that they have, if you can see here, they have a transverse foramen which passes the vertebral artery, except in C7, the vertebral foramens pass the vertebral uh, vein, not the artery. Okay, and if we're gonna go for the thoracic, which is okay. uh, the thoracic vertebrae, uh, it has a uh, heart shape, okay, and the, the superior articular facets are facing upward and the uh, uh, transverse processes are facing backwards. It has a long and downward spinous process. Uh, and one of its features is that it has uh, two uh, facets for the, for the articulation of the ribs. Uh, for the, uh, it articulates with the ribs, uh, with the ribs head and the uh, tubercle of the rib. Okay, and uh, for the lumbar, the lumbar is obviously the biggest uh, vertebra from uh, size-wise, and uh, that's because it's the weight-bearing vertebrae, and it has a kidney-shaped vertebral body, and the pad, uh, pad, uh, our superior articular facets are facing uh, sideways, like medially, and the, uh, the tub tubercles are horizontal. Transverse process. Transverse process are horizontal. And the spinous process is just... Uh, it's not long and it's short. Yeah, it's not long and it's not short and it's just like going straight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, what else did we forget? What's that? C7? Uh, where's, uh, yeah, C7, we don't have it here. I don't know. It's not this one. C7 has a feature just I like... The, this, no, this is... This is C7, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, but there's no two. Where no? But C7 is that? This is not C7, by the way. It's just that it has a long spinous process, and that's why C7 is uh, easily palpated in the neck. So you can easily feel it because it's, uh, it has a long spinous process. And that's it.